It's a pleasure you? to meet you, Dr. Alice. The pleasure is mine. All right, um, thoughts. What's, what's bothering you? Well, I work out a lot. Mm -hmm. And lately, when I was younger, I never got this. But um, as I've been getting older, I work out. And when I weight train mm -hmm. for my back, mm -hmm. I get a back pain. And is it all through your back? No, right around here. Yeah, turn around just to show everybody if you don't mind. So it's up in here? Yeah. And do you ever get shooting pain down your legs? No. You don't? Good. Mm -hmm. Dr. Katz, thoughts on MPs back pain? Well, Mehmet, our thoughts are very similar because you started asking questions and what conventional medicine will focus on, and as an interest in, in particular, what we'll focus on initially is the differential diagnosis. What kind of back pain is it? Is it muscle spasm? Is it related to the spine? Is it pressing on nerves, which would cause the pain to radiate down your legs? So first, the differential diagnosis, and sometimes that's aided by imaging studies. If we're not sure what it is, an MRI might show us actual injury to the tissue. And then the treatments range from physical therapy. And, and by the way, I work out. I'm getting older, too, and my back is hurting more and more of the time. <laughs> so I, I feel your pain, literally. But often physical therapy, a regimen to condition just the right muscles. Anti-inflammatory medications, of course, can be very helpful. And then in extreme cases, spinal stenosis and so forth, sometimes surgery is even used. That's not for you, I, but I'm, I'm just saying these are, these are the standard options in conventional medicine. For so Dr. Katz, I think a lot of the audience recognizes that most people should not even be thinking about surgery. What does integrative medicine offer as an alternative? First, of course, a differential diagnosis, and then chiropractic, chiropractic care is often very useful. You have an adjustment, there may be a misalignment, and that can help. Also, muscle spasm responds very, very well to some natural products such as kava and valerian. And, and Dr. Mao, I've actually been to China and seen traditional Chinese medicine practice, and back pain was one of the most common ailments that I saw treated as it is here. Uh, what does it offer as potential solutions? Right? We have a lot of uh, solutions, actually, and back pain is probably the most common problems people seek out acupuncture for. Mm -hmm. And so at Dao Wellness, we, we deliver some 30,000 treatments a year, and probably a third of that is back pain. So, so what, let's, let's... I've got a table see. for you here. So are you, are you willing to try some acupuncture? Um, yes, yes. yes. Besides acupuncture today, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do in your stomach. a heat treatment. The other way, the other way. Put your head this way. I'm going to hold you down. <laughs> okay. yeah, if you, can just, you can look out towards the audience be more comfortable. You can press in your hands. I can lay my head down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You comfortable? Okay. And then we, <laughs> Dr. Mao has to get to your back. Is that okay? okay? Okay. So can we just lift that? Yes. So let's see. Okay. Very good. Are you feeling that at all? MP? I felt something. Some, something. <laughs> Here, I'll, let me put a couple in. I'll put a couple in. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. Actually, actually, uh, I'll, I'll give you some extra large, long needles, okay? <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm putting this, uh, this herb called moxa, or actually mugwort in English. And mugwort is used traditionally as a heat treatment. So what we do is we take these tiny little attachments and they fit over the needles. And then what we'll do is we light them. And this has been studied, by the way, in trials. For example, to get children to invert in their mother's stomach and with some effect. But this is uh, wow. bizarre as it appears. Ah. I've seen this done also with cupping and other techniques, but Absolutely. it seems like a pretty practical yes. way of doing it. Yes. Oh, see, so if you see, see, see the smoke coming out, right? <laughs> yeah. You all see the smoke coming out? And that's, that's the, the heat penetrating through the needle. And how long would it take for the treatment to last usually? Well, the actual treatment itself is like half an hour, but, uh, but they'll feel pretty much uh, instant relief yeah. right after each one of these. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. So we're going to have you go back to your seat with these in your back. <laughs> MP, thank you very much to all of our guests. Uh, I'm going to take uh, them. And to our physicians.